So these are the carbon fiber printed parts that we're working with and they did a very nice job of manufacturing these. Um, I'm very impressed with it. We've got the two ends pieces here and then these are going to be our core pieces. We've got to add our uh, mechanical attachments to them but for the most part they look pretty good. Anyway, back to work. So now we only have two more of these neurons to go, and then we're all done with this part of it. Then we'll start our assembly. So now we've got all of our parts done. All of them here are now finished with the neurons. What we're going to do next is go ahead and assemble the frame and get a first look at whether or not it's going to hold together. An important thing to note on our rails here is that we actually created a little bit of a notch system. Don't know if the camera is going to pick this up well or not, but on this edge we have a little bit of a notch. This edge we do. This side is smooth along with this side. So we actually put this into our system with the notch side down um, so that we can hold it all together that way. That way it fits our CubeSat deployer in the right way. Of course what they don't tell you is that trying to do this with gloves on is just a little difficult. We've actually run into a bit of a snag with our frame here going to cause a minor issue that hopefully we can fix. Um, during the 3D printing process, a couple of the screw holes on this particular piece um, didn't get cleaned out, and so we have carbon fiber uh, filament or powder basically contaminating the area. So we're going to have to take a moment, clean everything up, make certain that we remove all of that uh, material, um, keep our particle count down, and and get our rail back in place. It's going to take a little bit. So We've got our frame here finally. Um, it still needs to be squared up a little bit. There are a couple of issues that we've noticed with the material, but all in all, we're getting there. Uh, a couple of minor tweaks and we'll have our frame. Next up, we've got to put our mass objects into the, the frame itself and then um, add our uh, mock-up solar panels. Since this is only an engineering model, give us an idea of uh, fit where things are going to be. Anyway, um, we're getting there one little piece at a time. All right, just a real quick recap for today. Um, the clean room is very, very difficult to work in. It did work. We were able to keep everything working the way we anticipated, but the problem was it's just hot in there. We need to do something about the temperature in order for this to be more effective. It's been a good day. We've got a lot done. We didn't get quite as far as we wanted to though. We still have another frame that we need to get assembled and ready to go. That's for our flight coming up here in November. We're just a little bit behind on getting things done, but we are working on it and hopefully we'll get this finished here this week. Thanks for stopping by, checking out our video. Take a look at our links down below. See if there's anything that's of interest to you and uh, just keep watching. Thank you much.